What's going on YouTube? Gene here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Kona Mo O and Life Orb Lapras team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But yo, look at this team. This team looks phenomenal. I'm actually very, very hyped to actually get going on the ranked ladder with it. We got Talonflame as our Tailwind Pokemon, probably one of the best in the new meta. Talonflame is just a beast with the Gale Wings. This thing also has safety goggles so it can't get hit by buffets or sleep powders or powders like uh what other powders are there sleep powder or like poison powder but nobody uses poison powder but basically just like spore and all that good stuff this thing has brave bird flare blitz tailwind and protect normal move set for that thing Konamo in the top left corner with clanging scales aurora spear clangorous soul and protect with a soundproof ability and throat spray item so we can use a sound move and get that plus one on that special attack board then we got life orb lapras over here we can set up that big old aurora bell with gmax resonance with blizzard sparkling aria thunder and protect then it has hydration so if we're in the rain we can actually heal status conditions is that hydration yeah and then water absorbs the other one where you actually uh, get hp from water but hydration if i'm in the rain i can set the rain myself i can heal status conditions like sleeps paralyzes all that good stuff we got Toxicity right behind my face game with that Choice Spec. This thing is going to be able to do some big damage with Punk Rock and the Choice Specs with Overdrive, Sludge Bomb, Rising Voltage, and Boom Burst. Bottom left, we got Ferrothorn, the boy, big defensive bulky Pokemon, Grass and Shield type with Power Whip and Iron Head for both stab damage, knock off, take off items, and Bulldoze to actually slow down with the Soul Fest and Iron Barb's ability. And then in the final spot, we got a Support Mon with Clefairy with Friend Guard and the Evo Light and the normal moveset with this thing. We got Sing to put Pokemon to sleep, follow me, helping hand, and protect. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but yo, let's get after it. Let's get on that rank ladder and try to get some wins for you guys. First battle coming at you guys, this guy is Braviary, Amoongus, Rotom Wash, Hydreigon, Arcanine, and Durant. This might be a support Durant, but you never know. Durant is an absolute beast on the offensive side, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he leads Amoongus here, but kind of. I definitely want to go Talonflame, try to take that speed advantage, and I have the safety goggles, so he cannot uh, spore me up. So that's a, that's a safe lead right there. Uh, who else do I think is going to lead? Maybe Braviary, try to get after it. I definitely kind of want to lead Toxtricity. I feel like Toxtricity could be good. But at the same time, it can be bad because I, I gotta be specced. I, I gotta I gotta be specked here. Or do I go with Lapras? Like Lapras isn't a bad lead here. And I could set the rain turn one with my tailwind. Just set the rain like that, so I can't be sport and I just hydration myself. That could be rather smart. I said we do that. I said we do that. Let me go with that. Let me go with that. Just in case he goes with the Moongus lead, and then I bring Kona Mo'o and Toxtricity in the back end. Hmm. Oh, dude, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good with this one. I hope he leads Amoongus now. I have the safety goggles, and then if he does, I'm going to outspeed, and I'll set the rain turn one instead of uh, the Aurora Veil. So if he puts my Lapras to sleep, my hydration ability will just kick in, and then we cannot be put to sleep. And then I can just set up a Aurora Veil and keep rolling from there, and we should be chilling. Oh, dude, your boy, your boys, your boy's thinking. He's thinking today. He's going to go Amoongus and Hydra. Okay, I'm totally fine by that. Um, let me set the rain turn one. I think I definitely got to set the rain turn one. And get after it like that. Do I have do I have to set Tailwind? Do I have to set Tailwind? Because I could just Brave Burn. I am going to set Tailwind, to be honest. And I am going to uh even even though it's like not very effective, I still want this rain. I still want this rain up and I want to get after it like that. So we're gonna be doing that. We're just gonna be playing it just like that easy. And he will have speed advantage until I uh, Dynamax. Or until I get my tailwind and he's gonna Dynamax that Hydreigon. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. I'ma set this rain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully my Lapras outspeeds after the Tailwind. After the Tailwind. He's definitely going to go after my uh, my Lapras. Try to get that thing out the way. Get that attack drop as well. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Dynamax. And I think, we're, I think we could be sitting fine here. With Toxtricity, Choice Spec, and uh, what's called in the back end. And Konamo in the back end. Especially if I get this Tailwind up. And the Warbell. Bro. We could be cruising. We could be cruising. I'm feeling good. With, I'm feeling good with my play. I just mean. I think that was very smart. But we'll see. Only time can tell. Only plays can tell. Let's see. He's going to guard. Oh, you buttery biscuit, dude. Did you just... Oh, that's like the only thing. It's the only thing that could have that could have took me out. Now he's going to spore up on me. Max Geyser gets blocked. No, dude. No. Don't you dare. Yo, you biscuit. You biscuit. Bruh. This thing really guarded. Did he read that play? I thought that was such a good play coming in. Um, Great bird of fire blitz. Hmm. It's basically the same. Let me get a chance for a burn, so I'd rather uh, go here and get it for some Moongus. Moongus, I'm sick of you. Um, man, we might as well go for this up uh, resonance here. If we do wake up, hopefully we do wake up soon. 
we get after it like that. Flare Boots coming in here. I don't think we can uh, want that this thing. We'll see. Hopefully. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, we. Oh, no. It's Sash. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give it to me. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give it to me. Just give me the burn. Bro, what you mean? <laughs> I wanted the burn so bad. This thing's. Of course, this thing's Sash. Darkness coming in here. Going after my town. He's dead. Town flame is gone. Okay. That's fine. Get it in different Pokemon. Um. I'm totally fine. I wonder what that thing's going for. I guess a spore? I guess I was looking for a spore. Hmm. I was going for a Giga Drain. Trying to get some HP back. Gets a little bit. Decent amount. I think Konamo might have to step in here. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's either Konamo or you. And I could drop a Sludge Bomb. Or I could just go into all this. Which could be nasty. Which could be nasty. But at the same time, I want that thing gone. I kind of want to go into the Sludge Bomb. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into here for right now. Because that thing might just force a guard. I need my Lapras to actually like wake up here. That'd be pretty nice. I'm thinking I'm just going into a Sludge Bomb and taking out a Moongus. We get that stab and then just dropping a Resonance. And if we wake up, we, like, we should be chilling here. Like, I hope we can wake up here. Let's see what happens here. Sludge Bomb comes out. This should be able to pick up the KO easily. Fine. GG. Get out of my face, Moongus. Get out of here. Now, Lapras. I need you to wake up here, please. Thank you. Let's go. Resonance coming out here. We're sitting pretty here now. We're sitting pretty, but um, I'm so annoyed that uh, now this thing's dead. It's absolutely dumps on. Then we got the little bell. But I'm so annoyed that like I thought of that play in my head, like get the hydration rolling so the spore can't come out. We could be chilling, and this guy guards turn one. Like who does that? What a play by him. But we end up taking control right here. That was uh, smart for me to get out this uh, this toxicity. With that choice specs, dropping a sludge bomb and rolling from here. Because we still have Konamo and we got... We have one turn left? Do we have one turn left? No, we're done. Our Dynamax is done. Okay, so our Dynamax is done and we got this one. We got a couple turns left in the Tailwind. We got sludge bomb for this Braviary. I'm going to throw it on it. Try to get that poison. Do some damage. Intimidate's going to pop here. Which really only affects my... Uh, my uh, And actually it affects nobody. We're both special attacking. Which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. Which is lovely, lovely. I'm, I'm liking where we're sitting right now. Hopefully drop a sludge bomb here, because that's all I can do. Respect. And then I could drop a blizzard. I'd rather drop a sparkling aria. Actually, wouldn't I rather drop a blizzard? Hmm. I'm going to go uh, sparkling aria here. I think it's fine to do. I think it's fine to do. I think we might be able to take out the brave aria here and then do some big damage over on the Arcanine slot. Let's see what happens here. Sludge bomb coming out here. Give me the poison, dude. Give me the poison. Give it to me. Oh, yes, sir, yo. See you later, Brave Yard. Brave Yard is done. In the dumps here. Oh, no. You buttery biscuit got the lumberry, but still, I think it's dead anyway with this, uh, fucking Aria coming out. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. There we go. Brave Yard dead. Arcanine took big damage. Toxtricity took a little damage. I knew he wouldn't take too, too much, so that was a fair play to make. And then Strong comes out. And that's game, man. Yo, what a way to start off this video. Strong battle to get us started. Everyone knows Lapras teams are tons of fun to play. And they're not too hard to play, which I like as well. Dude, really just turn off his game? What's his problem? What's his problem? Do him dirty and he turns off his console. That's fine by me. We'll take that win and we'll hop into battle number two. Ooh, baby. Yo, look at this dude's team. He's got Klefki on it. I'm absolutely loving it. You guys know I like Klefki. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. For some reason, I don't even know. He's just jingly keys, but... Cracks me up. He's got my shell, uh, Volcarona, Duskops. I always think that Duskops got banned, but no, it's Porygon 2. Duskops is still in this game. Then he has Klefki, Hatterene, and Lucario. So definitely a Trick Room team. I do not need Tailwind. I really do not need it. So I'm going to bring Ferrothorn in this batch. Um, hmm, is there any way I can just counter up on this dude? I could Clangor Soul and get after it like that. I kind of still want to lead Talonflame for that first turn advantage. And it hits pretty hard too. I don't know. And that... You just do work on that Lucario, because that Lucario is scary, and usually, like, they'll lead that. I think this dude is definitely going to go for that Trick Room. Um, bum, bum, bum. Actually, let's just go. No, Konamo gets slapped on by Lucario all day. Let's actually lead Town, but I, I'm thinking of leading, like, bring insane Pokemon. Lapras? Do I want to lead Lapras? I kind of want to lead you and go Ferrothorn and Lapras. And no Toxtricity this time, because Toxtricity doesn't do too, too much here. Hmm. Even though it would dump on that Hatterene problem. Does he have any follow me? Does he have any follow me moves? No way. No way he brings Hatterene. No way he brings. He has Ally Switch. He has Ally Switch on. There's no way he brings. He actually might bring Hatterene. 
But I think he's gonna bring Hatterene and Dustcop so he does bring Hatterene. I think Hatterene's just a special attacker for the Trick Room. So I don't think it's there to set the Trick Room. I think it's more so the Dustcops over there. And does Klefki learn track Trick Room? I feel like it does, but. Let's see who he leads. I did not bring Coxtricity and. Cool. He doesn't, uh, doesn't lead. He doesn't lead and we bring out our Tailwind Pokemon. So I could set up a Tailwind easily. That's exactly what I'm gonna be getting after. Um, let's do it. Or I could just Brave Bird and dump on one of these dudes. Which actually might be the play. But one of them might be Sash. Same time, like, I wanna do it. At the same time, I wanna go into here. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I said we do that. I said we get after it just like that. Let's do that. Just in case I think Sash. We can roll out like that. Uh, he actually might Dynamax his Lucario. Which I can see happening. Totally fine. Dude, the worst part is this thing is part Steel type. So it's like... It's uh... It's not super effective flying type. But, talking about Lucario. Is this thing Sash? It's not Sash. Okay. I'm down with that. I think Lucario might outspeed me. Maybe I should've got the tail one off, but... I feel like just taking out of my shell just like that is pretty nice. And Dragon Pulse coming out on you? Huh? Excuse me? The rocking dragon pulse? And you get a crit? What you mean? Bruh! Bruh, this game. This game doing me dirty. This game's doing me dirty. This thing's really rocking dragon pulse. And he lands a crit? Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. I was feeling good. I was feeling so good. Let's see who he brings out. He brings out Dust Cops, and now he's gonna get the trigger and rolling. And good thing I didn't set up the town. Um, hmm. Okay. You wanna frisk me, dog? I'm down. I'm down. You can see what items I got. Um, I think I just protect you. I could flare blitz. Who is faster? Who is faster? That's just a real question. I feel like Talon Flame might be faster. Then Lucario? It's, it's close. It's close. Cause this thing is 195. Ooh. Ooh. 195. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I don't wanna look up how fast that thing is, but we're gonna take you out and I feel like we have to Dynamax and at least make something happen here. Let me drop that resonance over on you. And I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Lapras going to get our Dynamax again because it's just an absolute beast. You guys already know it. I remember when, what, what was it? Season 3? When they released this G-Max? Everyone was like, dude, this thing's going to be OP. This thing's going to be amazing. And it came in and it lived up to its hype. This thing was an absolute beast. It was running. It was so good. It was so good. But dude, I'm so mad he got a crit. I don't think that was taking me out because it wasn't stab damage with the crit. And he goes for an ally switch. Okay. Okay. I'm cool with it. Uh, uh, that's fine with me. And what's called does out speed? I don't think does out speed. I know he's going to go for a fighting move over on me. I know you're dropping a fighting move. Why should you go? Oh, you dragon pulse again. Are you scarf? We might be scarf. We might be able to eat that up. Did you get another crit? Oh, no, it did not. I was going to say. I was going to say. But Resident's coming out here, and then we still have Ferrothorn in the back. Ferrothorn's not a bad mod. Not a bad mod. And it's going after this Lucario, doing some damage. Let's get it. Let's get it. Doing some big old damage on it. Not very effective either, but Aurora Veil's big. So if we can just start geysering, setting the rain, putting things in our favor, I don't think this match is over just yet. We still got, still got our boy here with knockoff and all. Which I'm just going to knock off that Evo Light and roll from there and set the, uh... And set the... Actually, do I double through onto the, uh... No, I gotta, I gotta take out that thing. I'm gonna knock off you. How much I wanna just protect, but he's just pulsing, so I don't know if he's like, uh... I don't know if he's Scarf. I don't know if he's Choice or Bandit. He might be Bandit here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he might be Bandit right off the rip, and he's just Dragon Pulsing. That's why he's doing so much damage. Let's see. So he got, yeah, he's Bandit. 100% Bandit. Which, that, I'm cool with that. Max Guy's gonna come out here. Uh, Lucario dead. Knock off coming out here. I'm thinking we should double up into the dust cops then. But still. So cause he's gonna get off trick room. But I am fine with the trick room. I, I have slower Pokemon here. He still has a Dynamax here. And I have one more turn, which I can just send another geyser and I have a war about so bruh. We're looking good. We're looking good. But you know, you guys already know, whenever I say we looking good, we usually we lose. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully we can uh pick up this win. Trick room comes out. Oh I had like a little scratch in my throat. Trick room comes out though. And um, I'm fine, like, dude, like I said, like, I have slower Pokemon out right now. No Tailwind's up. I played this pretty smart without going with that, and this is gonna be his Dynamax Pokemon, and it is gonna be the Hatterene, like I said. Like I said, if he brings Hatterene, it's gonna be just for special attacking. Um, I feel safe going... I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say he rocks the Ally Switch here. No lie, I say he rocks the Ally Switch, and we double over onto this side. 
I'm not even gonna lie here. I think that's our best play. I think he rocks out, I switch. And he Dynamaxes. And he tries to get after me. He might actually set a flare onto my uh, Ferrothorn, which could be pretty rough. But we might be able to, actually, we probably won't be able to eat. It's four times weakness. But I really think uh, he's going to go for the, the ally switcher. And that would that would probably get him to win. If he just flares onto my Ferrothorn, if that takes him out and then uh, takes away the ring so we can eat up more damage, well, that could be tough. That could be so tough. Right, let's see what happens. Dynamax here, he's probably going to smite, to be honest. He's either smite or flare. I'm hoping it's Smite. Smite's gonna give us confusion, but Flare would be would be very tricky. Do it. Show me the Alice. Show me the read. Show me the reads. Shadow sneak. Ah! E! Okay, so he's just shadow sneaking. That's fine. Uh Ferrothorn should be able to take out Duskop, so then the range should be able to go that way. Let's see what he does. Ferrothorn is slower. Iron Head comes out. Do not take out you biscuit. And Smite comes out. Okay. Alright, so we're confused. We're gonna deal some damage on the Lapras. Lapras eats. Um, Duskoff is going to go down. And it's good to know. Actually, this Duskoff's going to go down. Are we going to get screwed here? Come on. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Okay. So, Duskoff's down. Oh, man. I was trying to read that alley switch hard. I know Ferrothorn will go first. So, Iron Head can do some damage here. We are ducked, though. We are all ducked up. We are ducks right now. We have a bunch of ducks going on. Um, I think I protect my boy, my Lapras. And hopefully, I think he need up a shot. And so we can maybe get two off on this thing. I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to protect Lapras. No way. There's no way you don't go after Lapras. This Ferrothorn obviously goes first, so we're going to get off the hit regardless. I just proved that last turn. And, of course, we're duck duck. Come on, dude. Don't scream over ducks. Okay, we get off the Iron Head. I'll take that. I'll take that. Take that. Oh. Now he's gonna take out my Lapras. Now he's gonna flare. Okay. Can we eat? Can we eat that? Let's go, Ferrothorn. So fast, coming in clutch. Okay. So I'm thinking only way we don't win this. Only way we don't win this is if uh, we hurt ourselves in confusion. Only way. Only way. Or if Blizzard misses. Do I go for Sparkling Aria anyway? Hmm. I said we risk the blizzard. I said we risk the blizzard. The Spark and Aria won't do too, too much. Come on, ducks. Don't do me dirty, ducks. Don't do me dirty. Let's go, Iron Head. Finish this off. Finish them off. Yo, blizzard. I need you here. I need you here, blizzard. Blizzard. I need you here. Blizzard. Yo, ducks. Don't do me dirty. Don't do me dirty. Um, is there one turn left in Trick Room? There is. There is one. Hold the phone. Ya yeah, boy. Hold up. Hold up. I'm protected. I'm protected. Don't call me out just yet. Don't call me out just yet. Now with Sparkling Aria should be able to take that thing out. And it has a higher chance of landing. Come on. Do them dirty lappers. Give me the dub. We had a lot of things go wrong in this match. We had a lot of things go wrong in this match. A lot. A lot. Lapras takes two hits from Confusion. Did I think Ferrothorn might have took one. Actually, I don't know. It might have took one. I think Ferrothorn might have took one. He got a crit on my Konamo. -O. And your boy outplays for the win. Your boy does it. Let's get it. Let's go. Your boy has done it. The GOAT right here. The GOAT. Jeans YT right here. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get ourselves a perfect record for today's video. What is up with our opponent's teams using cool Pokemon? Like, look at this. Toxapec in doubles? Bruh. Pelper to set the rain. Swim like Clay Doll over here. Seismitoad. And Toga Tick. That thing's going to be evil lighted. Um, I'm fine with that. Is this a trick room? Can they set a trick room? I feel like they can't, but uh, I'm definitely bringing Toxicity in here. Like, Toxicity getting after it. I'm getting after it with Toxicity. Um, do I go in with, uh, with Talonflame? 
I feel like he might set the rain turn one. But I kind of still want to go Talon Flame just to set up a Tailwind and roll off from there. But, mm, the bad part about... Actually, dude, do I go Ferrothorn? I think I got to bring Ferrothorn. I think I got to bring Ferrothorn. And, uh, Toxic Let's do this, this, and then I think I bring my own Lapras, my own Watermon here. And we get after that. Dude, Lapras has just been the star of the show. Always, always the star of the show. I do like Konomo'o, though, but I feel like he, he, he's, like, only good if you get him in a certain instances. I, I just feel that. I feel that. And uh, Togetic has followed me. Like, you can't use Togekiss, so they're just like, alright, you know what? We're gonna give Togetic the Evo Light, and we're just gonna send him in there and see how he does. You can't use Togekiss, who's, like, one of the best. Dude, I miss all those Pokemon, though. They gotta bring him back soon, I feel like. like. I miss all them. Like, I haven't seen a good Sand team since Extra Drill and t has been banned. Uh, you can keep, like, Cinderace and Rillaboom out of here. I feel like the game's been much better without it. But, like, Togekiss and all that? Yo, I miss it. I miss it, dude. Finish my water. We chilling. Um, Tailwind definitely. Actually, no. Not yet. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go for the burn over on the Lax. To be honest with you. And then I could go for, uh, what do I want to go for? Rising Voltage. I could go for this. I'm thinking of just Overdriving. I think Overdrive is our best play. Put some damage on Togetic. And over onto the. And over onto the Smogs. And I choice into it. So that's good in case he wants to send out some rain Pokemon. I'm cool. Cool with that. And we do not need a Tailwind out just yet. That's why I, I, I went for a straight attack move. Trying to do some damage on the Smogs. Because I know we can outspeed next turn. And be able to get off that Tailwind from there. Lord Blitz coming out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. Get him. Give me the burn. Show me. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. No burn? What you mean? No burn? What you mean? I get paralyzed from this. I feel like I can, but I can't. Let's see. Oh, this thing's burying up, dude. Show me who's going for a belly jump. No way he's going for a belly jump. That'd be, that'd be crazy. Reflect. Oh! Whoa there! Reflecting? You're crazy, dude. And he is going for a belly jump. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. I'm doubling up on you and I'm getting after you. Now, no, no need. No need. Okay. I'm cool with that. Hmm. He does have a reflect, though. So, I'm going for you. And I'm gonna just overdrive this. Let's go. Get after this thing. There's no way Dynamax is. Not a chance. Not a chance. Like, you weren't going for a follow me with that? Unless Togetic doesn't get follow me? Like, you can't roll Belly Drum like that. Unless you, like, know for sure that nobody's going after you. Oh, that's the guy. Oh, dude, this is something ballsy, man. Dude's, dude's got some guts, man. Let's see if it pays off for him. Watch, dude. Watch. He's gonna survive this. He's gonna survive this hit, and then he's just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna find a berry here, and I'm just gonna run it up. I'm gonna be like, bro, get out of my face. This game's rigged. <laughs> but I do have to set up the Tailwind. Uh, probably next turn, unless he takes out my Tailwind from here. See what happens. Follow me comes out. Now he goes for follow me. You buttery biscuit. Actually, Toxtrus, do you outspeed? No, you do not. I was gonna say, I hope. I wish he outspeed. But yeah. Tailwind's like one of the passes. Alright, so Token Tick, dead. Not dead. Somehow. Not dead. Okay, eat that up. I guess Reflex helping him out. Overdrive. Double kill. Overdrive for the win. Yo, 3 and 0 for you guys. Yo, it's coming. It's coming. Perfect record. This is for the online gaming community, baby. This one was for you guys. The online gaming community. The Jeans online gaming community. All for you guys. Yo, we are rocking out today. Having a blast. So I'm having fun playing this game. Um, I think ever since I've been playing uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars and not playing Pokemon as much, when I hop back into Pokemon, I just have a lot more fun with it. Like, you guys know, if you keep playing a game, it gets repetitive. But I feel like ever since I've been playing uh, 3D All-Stars and having, like, variety on my channel, I've been having a blast of recording, like, more than I ever have. Like, I've just been having so much fun. But, okay, so I'm just going to set up Tailwind here. And I guess Overdrive has to come out here. It's going to have no effect on Seismitoad. But it will dump on this Pelipper or at least bring it down to the Focus Ash. EQ comes out. Oh, you outspeed. You outspeed. Doesn't affect you, but yeah. Okay, Toxtricity's dead then. Toxtricity's gone. I'm surprised you... Oh, it, Swift Swim. My fault. Swift Swim. I was gonna say, I, I'm surprised you outspeed my talent thing, but Swift Swim comes out here and helps out a lot. I still have my Dynamax, so Tailwind's gonna come out here. And just basically set up for us, and then Scalds or Hydro Pump. Okay, just gonna take out my talent thing. But two Pokemon I have in the back. We got Ferrothorn, dog. We got Ferrothorn, who I'm just gonna come in with the Power Whip over on you, and then I'm I think I just Dynamax Lapras. Play it safe. Dynamax Lapras. Drop a um, Max Lightning. Play GG in the can. Hey, thanks for coming out. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for playing up against your boy Jeans. Guys, I am the best Pokemon player on the planet. Like, put me in any tournament, I'll beat any pro player. Hands down. No, I'm just playing around, but. 
<laughs> Sometimes I get overconfident. I know I'm not like the best Pokemon player. I just have a blast playing it. Hope you guys still do enjoy the content, even though I'm not like a pro player. Because when I first started playing Pokemon, it was more so everybody was like, oh, like, oh, you're not that good, bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi. Oh, you're doing the, all these wrong moves. But, like, in when I was playing, when I first started, I was just like, yo, like, I'm only playing for fun. Like, this is my first time. Like, this game was the first time I actually, like, took online a little seriously and started playing it and learning the game. And everyone was, like, giving me crap for it. I'm like, dude, I really don't care. I'm just trying to have fun and make some funny videos or, like, have some cool content for you guys. Like, that's more so what I'm doing. I'm not really playing to win or join tournaments. I'm playing to, like, create content for you guys. So, I hope you guys do enjoy it in the long run. I have a blast making these videos for you guys. But, my boy Lapras. Getting out here. Getting after it. Getting after it. Third Dynamax in three games. Like, you cannot go wrong with Dynamax and Lapras. This is going to be game. This is hands out going to be game. EQ, that's not taking me out, dude. That's not taking out my Ferrothorn. It's not taking out my Ferrothorn. That's game over. Game, set, match. Lightning coming out here. This thing might actually be Sash. I right? could help him out, but... This Sash gotta be Sash. Yeah. Okay. All Pelop are Sash. They, they, they hang on with it. Every single time. No big deal for them. It's just their thing. We get the Surge rolling for us. Well, I hopefully... I just need his Power Whip to get off in this game. This game, set, match. Power Whip, I need you off here. And watch, this thing's gonna go for Hurricane. Yo, I told you. If you confuse me, I'm gonna cry. If you confuse me, I'm gonna cry. Thank the Lord. Power up and this game. And this game. Bop, 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 bop. Hey, 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 hey. Did we get a crit? Yeah, even though we didn't need it. Hey, hey, hey. Reno, let's get it, yo. I, I, I forget the last time we went through Reno. It's been a minute. It's been a been a good bit. But GG, man. GG. And I'm just going to an Iron Head. I really do like Iron. What is it? Gyro Ball on this thing? Because it goes up against with my defense. So I kind of like Gyro Ball, but Iron Head works just as well, considering we got the flinch chance as well. But, yo, easy matches today. Easy matches. I, dude, I absolutely love this team. This might be this might be my team. Might be my team for a little bit if I want to push the ladder and uh, try to get some ranks up. 3-0 with this squad. We had a nice little perfect record and perfect video for you guys. We didn't really get to show off the Clefairy. I don't think we used it once, but you guys already know what Clefairy does. It's not a big deal. We didn't really get to show off the Konomo'o either, but... Again, Konomo'o is an absolute beast, and like I said in, I think, the third battle, you just have to get him in at certain instances for him to roll out strong. But other than that, dude, this team is so strong. Like, Lapras is an absolute beast. Talonflame, Great Tailwinds that are the choice, Spex, Toxicity, and the Fire Thorn can roll out in many instances. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.